Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and this is my precious journey. So I need to apologize for last week. I, I'm doing some videos today. I only got one video done last week again. Let's it's Christmas time. I will go through in another video, not these ones. These ones are about crochet and yarn and all the fun. Yeah, I'll go through in another video what um what has been going on in my world. It is a snowy day today. <laughs> I woke up and there's this beautiful blanket of snow all over the trees and everywhere. It's our first snowfall, real first snowfall. Like we've had a flurries, but nothing like this. And it's gorgeous. And I love the looks of snow. I don't like being out on it and I won't drive in it, but I love it. It looks beautiful out my windows. And every window in the house has a different view. <laughs> So anyways, this blank get it, that I am going to talk about today is this one. Um, I, I have to get some videos done. My room's like, I have a big pile here. So anyways, that's okay. At least I've been still crocheting, right? This one I am super proud of. This is called, and I have it right up. It's from the Crochet Crowd. And it's called Snow Days with Hot Chocolate Crochet. It's a crochet along. But it's... It's a, it's a year old, so it was from last year. She's going to start barking soon because I started a video. Yep, and then I'll have to pause it, deal with her. Anyways, so listen, <laughs> this is for, this is a gift for someone. I even blocked the first part where you're supposed to, but I kind of screwed up and I didn't, I forgot to do the last row before, I but I think it's okay. And I think she's going to love it. I made it in her, like I put her favorite color in it. She doesn't know she's getting it. So I can't tell you who this is for. All they can tell you is she has been an inspiration to me since I started YouTube, since before I started YouTube. She's a fellow Canadian and I love her dearly. So I'm going to hold this blanket up and then I'm going to tell you what I used for it. I don't have the numbers for it and I can't even listen I started piling um, these are my this is not for this blanket this is for probably all this stuff so and I got more <laughs> so I can tell you what I use I just can't tell you how much I use I knew there was a few bowls there was a few the gray at the most but it was so worth it. I'm going through, look at my stash of sa um, saver. And then also I've been putting my, I can't find my bags. I had bags from, you know, the, those bags that you put yarn in, like um, Nancy's doing, Nancy from Croche, uh, she loves, she's got yarn too. <laughs> I am so bad with names and some names I never, I don't know if it's part of my dyslexic or what I, it's just I can't pronounce things sometimes I can't names are the worst and I don't know if it's because it's got the a capital in it I don't know I don't even if it I don't know anyways it's from Nancy from she's got yarn too she she has the bags and she's packing up and I do have bags I have the perfect bags for them and I got them from Amazon a few years ago. I can't even tell you, like someone asked me the measurements for them. I can't find them to tell you the measurements. Anyways, it's from, I do have a little yarn haul here from Michaels. And I have fell in love with loops and thread yarn. Um, and I, I do, I, I've went through, anyways, I, I did a video on them a while ago. I got a haul and I fell in love with it and that's thanks to Nancy so I went and got a couple more yarns that I was missing um, yeah I'll get into that later <laughs> anyways this blanket I'm gonna hold it up guys so this blanket I did get dressed today <laughs> at least they did that right um, so listen I can't I gotta find the front okay I have them, I have my blankets and I've been, I've done, 
two from the crochet crowd. I am going to be doing more because I find them challenging and exciting to do. <laughs> what is she going to do? Oh, stretching out. And so I have these on these um, quilt things and to show them off. So this is the blanket. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. And I did, um, this is the part here, the middle part, where I did block it. And I don't block, but I knew this, I wanted this to be perfect for her. Well, try to be. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect, perfect. Nothing I do. <laughs> it's, it's crochet. And it goes all the way up. I love this blanket. And I will never be able to hold it up and do it justice. But I enjoy doing it. And I am going to get it in the mail. I am. No. Just now I'm all tangled up. Of course. Of course. Of course I'm all tangled up. Right there. So I will get it in the mail. I don't know if she'll get it before Christmas. I have some mailing to do and I still haven't done it. Anyways. So what yarn I used? I used three different yarns. I used... Um, a saber cream, which I do have because I used this on a, another project. And there's the number for that, the, the cream, 54250. And I used a saber, bur like it's a wine color. It's more wine. More like that. Yeah. Well, you can see it right there. And a saber gray. I used a few balls of these which this blanket took me about a week to do. His blankets are big, so they take about me about a week and I'm, I'm so enjoying them. Guys, he's a, a great teacher and I like his little personality too. Now, I think he's from Ontario, but he lives in Nova Scotia, just like me now. <laughs> I was from Ontario and then I moved here. He's so fun and he's, uh, he makes everything so, so fun. Anyways, I don't even remember, I don't even think I even wrote down on any of these, the saver, what hook I used. And I do, I think I used a, a six and a half, but who knows? Who knows? Because I don't, these are all saver balls. And I had a lot of projects with savers this week. Well, a couple. Anyways. Um, Saver is from Ice Yarns. And it is a Draylon acrylic. 200 grams, 330 meters, uh, 5 millimeter knitting needle. So I use probably a 6. I probably use a 6.5. I like, that's my favorite hook right now, a 6.5. And it's my tulip hook. And it's a four medium weight. Now, it's a good four medium. It's not a thin four medium. It's definitely a good thick four medium. And yeah, so this blanket, it's big, it's huge. Um, let me hold it up how big it is so you can actually see that it's that big. Let's see. Get it the right way. See, it's, and I'm pulling on my wires. <laughs> it's pretty big. You can't. Anyways, there you go. So, I'm going to get that in the mail this week. I'm going to get all my mails. I have mail for, for a few people, for a couple people. Not a few, just a couple. Shipping is, uh, shipping is shipping, guys. And uh, in Canada, it's outrageous right now. So I can only do so much. And, you know, it is what it is. I uh, I had to take uh, last week mainly off work. And I call this my job. So I didn't get much done video-wise. But uh, my dying room today, today, I'm doing these videos. And then this will take me all morning to do and my hair is a mess 
my ADHD is so bad right now. So bad. And I, oh, nothing. I, I can't keep concentrating on one thing. Do you know? Is that just this time of year or is that just me? I'm like a squirrel. I'm all over the place. I can't seem to get my act straight. At least I'm laughing about it, right? So anyways, I hope she really enjoys this. It is, just soon as I seen it, I knew it's a Christmas, it's for a Christmas present, but it's something she can have out all winter long. And I'm not gonna wash it, she can wash it. She'll be fine washing it, wash dry. It's okay, it's saver. So I will make sure and tell her that in her little card she's gonna get. Um, yeah, there's not much more I can say about it. But I will link the, the it's called Mickey Snow Days with Hot Chocolate tutorial down there. And it's a, it's a crochet along. I think there's like four, three or four videos. I have it up, I, but only two came up. So one, two, three. Looks like three videos. No, there's four. I know there's four. Yeah, four. And it was so much fun. So I am going to be looking. I know there's another one that I will be doing after Christmas because um, my family has got me the yarn for, to do it. It's the ombre. Yeah, the ombre blanket that I've been eyeing up. But there's a couple more that I want to do. And my husband, I don't, this is why I have this here. My husband has um, actually printed the ones that I want to do out and this one is the first one it's the ombre one that's the blanket I really want to do it's a free pattern free tutorial and inspiration by joy I already did it's that one which I'm sure my daughter will take uh, the snow days study of determination I want to do that one too it's all different colors study of texture I think I need to do that one maybe next, but I want to do one with a whole whack of colors. Just a whole whack of them. And inspiration by friendship. I want to do that one. That one is made with roll with it from and I only have I only have one color with that. But I think I can in my sash I have other colors I can do it with. So I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> so yes, he made me a binder of the blankets that I've done with the, the pattern because I don't read patterns and, but I'd like to, I don't understand them to read them, but I'd like to follow it as I go. Cause then I think in my head and I'm hoping that it works, I will get better at it. And maybe one day I will be able to anyways. That's it for this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will link um, Nancy because I mentioned her and um, the, the blanket tutorial underneath. And you can get a free pattern and everything with that. But I will not and probably till after Christmas put the channel that this one's for. <laughs> so I all hope you all have a good day and I will see you soon. Bye everyone.